Hi, I'm Tammy and I'm here to review a product called Perfect Smile Veneers. They look really silly and I'm not sure how they'll work, but I'm kind of desperate. I lost my dentures a few weeks ago um, and I'm a dental assistant by trade, so this look is not comfortable for me. Uh, I usually pride myself on dental hygiene, but this is not going to work for me. So I don't have the money to go out and get another pair and everything else is just way too expensive and I figured I would try this first and then I would try the Morphids, Morphids and try to make my own dentures if this doesn't work. But I figured I'd give this a try first because it'd be easier. So um, before I start, I want to say that I'm 40 something years old and I have horrible teeth because number one, my family has pretty bad teeth. So it runs in our family. But also, um, I um, had anorexia from the age of 12 for a very long chunk of my life, let's just say. So that made my teeth very, very malnourished. And so they always had cavities already. And then sometimes the acid also would cause erosion. So. It, they didn't, they weren't good from the start. And then uh, at the age of 36, I got breast cancer and had to go through chemotherapy, radiation, and six surgeries. And right after that is when my teeth really took a turn for the worse. They started to literally crumble and fall out. And I ended up having to get the partial, upper partial. And that actually is what got me interested in the dental field and I went to school and then I became um, a dental assistant. So uh, then I was working, life was pretty good, I was getting healthy, and then I ended up having problems and found out I have another cancer. And this time it is a metastatic melanoma, which means stage four melanoma. Uh, and while I was in my treatment a few weeks ago, I was sick and then I was in and out of the hospital, I misplaced my dentures. Um, the hospital really didn't help either because they didn't really keep good track of it. But needless to say, I don't have the money to go and get another pair. So I figured I would try this first. And then I'm like, if this doesn't work, I'm a dental assistant. I could take those morph beads that, that, that are out there, the plastic that you can kind of melt and sometimes they use with this. And I'll try to make my own. But in the meantime, I'm going to try this. Okay, so bear with me. This is my first time doing anything like this, so we'll see how it works out. Um, but anyway, it's basically, it's, it's from As Seen on TV, and I got it for $14.99 at our As Seen on TV um, store in our local mall. And when I first look at them, number one, what scares me is it says one size fits all. And usually when it says that, for me, that means one size fits all and more of me because I'm tiny. I am five foot four, maybe. <laughs> and I am, well now I am way too low in weight. Let's just say I am tiny. So my mouth is a tiny mouth. I can't even most of the time fit a normal um, intraoral camera into my mouth. It's really difficult to have any kind of x-rays. And even children's glasses is what I usually wear when I pick out sunglasses because my mouth and my jaw and everything are really tiny. Um, I think that runs in my family too, but I'm afraid that this thing is going to be so big. But here I go. I'm going to open it up and we'll see what we got. I'm just going to rip into it like it's a Christmas package or something. I don't care. All right. First thing that comes out is obviously our directions. And it does have a phone number on the back and a website. And I do remember online, I watched this, I watched the video a few videos about it and it it says to uh check their website out so i'm gonna check that out oh <laughs> i didn't know it came with this it comes with a little carrier little carrier ha <laughs> ha plastic carrier which is probably what my dentures should have been in um because if they were i probably wouldn't have lost them but um yeah, that shows how tiny these things are. 
Uh, they're really tiny because actually I'm going to show you my denture holder for my partial. Look at the size difference. It's pretty big. So that goes in there and this is what's going to be in my mouth. Anyway, not in my mouth. It's what is going to go in here. What is going to go in my mouth. All right. So <laughs> I almost dropped it down the sink. That would have been so bad. <laughs> my luck though. All right. So it looks kind of freaky. It is really, really thin. And on the back is, if I'm not mistaken, I think that is some type of wax. Maybe that's what those morph beads are, but like in a long, thin strip. So, and then this is the teeth. And I'm going to show you, it looks like this, the gums, are gonna be way too pink for me. Um, one thing I did here though, is if the teeth aren't the actual color that you want, you can dip them in some hot tea or hot coffee uh, and kind of play it by ear as to what is the right one. But these are all the teeth right here anyway. It's not like you're only having one and you have to match them to the other. So all you really have to do is match them to the bottom close enough. And most of the time people, when they, um, when they come to get or when we whiten their teeth we only whiten right here and here anyway so i think i'll be okay so let's see the difference i don't know it looks really red i think i'm gonna look like i have really bad gums and a bleeding problem because i don't think it is the same color at all <laughs> we'll see well, all right, so I'm gonna set this to the side and we'll pull out the directions. Of course, it thanks us first and it says, Congratulations, woohoo, on your purchase. Yay, congratulations. One size fits all. And it says, Look and feel of natural teeth in minutes. I'll be honest, I've seen a few people with these. They had bigger faces. One lady was um, an African-American, so her face and her teeth were already big. And she actually was um, sending hers back. And she had her new one, which she picked out. It was supposed to be a small, and the other one was supposed to be a large. This doesn't have small or large, but she put them right next to each other. And they both were the same exact um, in size. And they were too big for her. She was having a very difficult time. So... Uh, Having a small face, I'm not sure if it's going to look natural for me. We'll see. Um, it might be even better than what I have now, but we'll see. All right. It, also, it says, custom fit, perfect smile veneers, and three easy steps. And stupid me, I totally forgot to get something out. I forgot to get the water because I'm supposed to boil water and then put the stuff in water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick brief moment. I'm going to put it on pause and we'll be right back and I'll probably do the boiling and come back with the hot water. Okay. See you in a second. Ta-da! That's magic when it comes to video. 10 minutes can go by and it looks like a second. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you what I have real quick. I have my mittens. <laughs> I have a glass jar, which has been cleaned out. We're gonna use this to put the hot water in. And it says to use a fork to try to scoop it out. And you need to put it in for two minutes. So I have, you can't tell, I'm sure, but this is, a t this is gonna have a timer on it. It's set for two minutes. And Right down somewhere back there, there is another pot holder that I'm going to set this on when I'm done because I'm going to use this one to put my hot water right here. So anyway, <laughs> I'm being really technical and stupid, but maybe someone out there doesn't know what they're supposed to be doing. Anyway, basically, you're supposed to take your lovely let's just start with step one <laughs> step one with 
your gloves, your mitten. You pour carefully the hot water, boiling water it says, into the glass, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna shut it, and I'm actually gonna put it in the bathtub over to the side so it's out of our way and we don't get burned. So I'll be right back. And I have hot water. I'm gonna set here. And what it says is I'm gonna read it. And here it says, step one, place your perfect smile in boiling water for two minutes. Uh, when impression material on the back of the perfect smile starts, uh, turns clear and soft, remove with a spoon, metal spoon or fork, we got a fork. Um, if the material is not soft, reheat the water. Uh, it also says, caution, perfect smile would, it'll be hot for about 10 to 15 seconds beforehand. So just be careful, wait about 10 to 15 seconds before handling. So don't be stupid. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there getting burnt and they're probably suing them, but I hope not. Don't be stupid, okay? Um, and that's why I have my lovely mittens, dollar store. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here we are. This is our perfect smile and at, on the back as you can see this material is white and it's not soft or anything. It's just white and I'm going to drop it in and set our timer. And it's counting down. I don't think you can see it at all, but it'll be counting down. I'm not sure if I want to sit here make you guys go through two minutes of wait. Uh, however, I might. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, I won't. I won't. I'm going to pause it and I'll bring it back on right before. What I'll do is I'll actually show you what it looks like before I take it out so that you can see how it's actually clear. The back part, that strip is clear. Okay, so see it in just a second, but in real life, it will be two minutes later. Okay. All right, I'm not sure why my thing did not make a noise, but it is now, the timer is done, and I want to show you real quick what it looks like. It's in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, actually, from that point of view, but it almost looks like there's nothing on the back now because it's clear. I'm trying to put my hand back here to help you see that, but... I'm also afraid that I'm going to burn myself. So I'm going to put the phone, which is what I'm using to record, back up here where I had it. It's not going to be the same. Uh, oh, well. Say la vie. Um, and I'm going to put these back on. Actually, I'm going to do it the opposite way. And just try to get them out with my fork. This water is very, very hot. And this is what they look like. And they said like 10 seconds. On the back, see how it's like all clear. It's not at all white like it used to be. It is very soft. It is very soft. And I'm hoping I can mold it into my teeth. Here goes. I think I'm right. <laughs> uh, I might have to do this and get that to you because I probably should be looking in a mirror and I'm not. <laughs> I'm looking in the video. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna put it back in and I'm gonna do it all over again. But like I said, I've actually got to look in a mirror. So I'm gonna pause it again. 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get it good. I know everybody said to bear with it. Give it time. If you need to do it over again, do it. Be meticulous. I'm going to because I'm going to try to use these for a little bit. I have a funeral that I need to go to in a few days and I really want to use these. Um, and typically I'm just doing treatment and with my kids and then going to church and I really, you know, I'm self-conscious but I don't have to see all these other people but Friday I do so I kind of want to use these. Um, so I'm going to give it um, probably a few more seconds for it to turn clear again. I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back as soon as I'm done so I can show you what it's like. What I'll do is I'll come back when I'm done make fixing it while it's still like and I show you the back, okay? All right, so give me a, minute, a few minutes again. Okay, I'm back. I gotta say, <laughs> this is not working at all for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> like I was saying, <laughs> this doesn't work for people with tiny faces. Not only do I look like I, I have buck teeth, but the one area where I don't have any teeth is like, it's weird. It kind of like, I wish I could, yeah, I guess you can see it kind of. It like is flat there. So I was trying to push it so that it would like go out a little bit and it wasn't. And I know that some of the other ones come with these morph beads that you kind of can put them in place, but this pack didn't. So it's like shaped like that. Um, I guess you can kind of see and I'll, hold it, I'll put it on again so you can actually see what it, it looks like. Oh, by the way, here, when it's dry, it's like, it's like that. It kind of looks like dried wax so anyway i'm gonna put it on so you can see what it actually looks like on me <laughs> i can't even keep it on <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> i'm gonna give these a zero <laughs> if i wanted to play a game on people and pretend I'm an old lady maybe like hello how are you I'm a little old lady oh that works perfect but not not a perfect veneer smile mm -mm. oh let me see let's at least see if it's the right color you know how I was saying about the gums let's see So for me, if it were, <laughs> I can't even keep it on. Uh, I guess it's not bad. And the color, I thought, <laughs> I thought the color would be too white of the actual teeth. That's not bad either. Um, but I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to put this back in the water. I'm going to maybe try to scrape all that poly whatever that stuff is the beads which are the strip and maybe i can fashion my own with just this and see if i can do that but i definitely am ordering the beads asap to try to do it myself um so i'm gonna have to give this a zero <laughs> I'm, i'll give it maybe a little bit i'll give it a, a point for the color i'll give it a point for the the, te the um color of the teeth and i'll give it a point for the color of the gums being okay, I'll give it a two. But that's as high as I'm giving it between one and 10, I'm giving it a two. Um, if you're tiny, if you have a small mouth, um, if you have a few missing teeth, know that it may indent or stay straight because this doesn't work. Sorry, I'm gonna have to say no. Uh, let's see if we can actually put this in here though. All right. I like the case. Yay for the case. And that's it. Bye-bye. Good luck.